Hello and welcome. This is Nandini Hirani, and you are watching its tomorrow news. Northeast US gets relief from a three-day snowstorm. A blizzard-like blast from a storm that has raged across the United States since before Thanksgiving slammed the Northeast on Monday and continued its journey through the region on Tuesday. Hundreds of travelers were stranded at Boston's Logan International Airport with more than 300 flights cancelled, nearly 750 delayed, schools closed and roads gridlocked. The disruption was widespread as the first snowstorm of the season dumped 90 centimeters of snowfall across parts of New Hampshire, blanketing much of the northeast with more than 60 centimeters of snowfall. On Tuesday morning, nearly 19,000 customers were without power in Pennsylvania. About 10,000 outages were reported in the state of New York and nearly 50,000 in New Jersey, according to Power Outrage US. Nearly 1,000 accidents were reported in snowy conditions across the Northeast, promoting officials to declare a state of emergency and to warn people to stay off the roads unless absolutely necessary. The final three-day storm total at Albany International Airport, New York State, was 57.4 cm, making it the eighth biggest snowstorm in the city's recorded history and the fourth biggest in December. On Sunday, the 13.3 inches snowfall at the airport broke the previous daily record set back on December 1, 1969 of 3.7 inches. On Monday, another daily record was broken with 6.8 inches, surpassing the city's old total of 6.2 inches from 1949. The record-breaking amounts of snow may be moving away for now, but with the season just beginning, there will be plenty more in the weeks ahead. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news, Nandini Hirani. For more news updates like these, please subscribe our channel.